Welcome to my channel. Um, it's adventure time. Another backpacking trip. Uh, I've been hiking for a while, so I'm kind of tired, but uh, I'm in the Hyuunas in a very, very popular area. The Hyuunas is usually the kind of areas I tend to avoid, but um, chose here just because I'm trying to get in some miles because here in a couple of weeks I'm going on a mega trek in Wyoming with a couple friends that are in far better shape than me so I'm trying to do a, a longer hike the I'm gonna go visit two lakes both are brook trout lakes both uh, kick out above average brook trout and one of them I've caught some dandies many years ago so I don't know I've been hiking about probably a mile and a half two miles so far and I got several miles to go but yeah I'm hoping to get in some fish and Trying to get some miles under my legs and get prepared for the, the long hike. So glad you're tagging along. Let's go. Well, I am done with most of the uphill. Um, <clears throat> I still have a long ways to go. But like I said, I'm in a very popular area. Like anyone who knows anything about the units will recognize this immediately. So, not really a secret. I've passed dozens of people on the trail, being a very extreme, well, extremely popular trailhead. So, but I'm going to some lesser lakes that are not visited nearly as often as the majority in this basin. So, yeah, downhill from here for the most part. They have passed many dozens of hikers heading out, and someone lost their tent. That's the exact tent that I'm using. So, the wilderness technology is airlight UL2, so that's a bummer, and it's it's wet, so I'm sure it's just one of the people that were hiking out. But I, it's been a while since I passed anybody, so I put it on this rock, and I don't know, if it's still here on my way out, I'll take it back to the trailhead. But that's a bummer. Well, I have made it. Um, I kind of kicked my butt a little bit. The part that was off trail was kind of kind of a pain, but I have made it. Set up camp. Ten minutes after I got here, another family showed up. Just day hiking from a couple miles away to fish. So looks like they're getting out of fish right now. So this is going to be my camp, my tent. Those chairs are worth it so very much. They're awesome. So yeah, this is going to be camp. Well. Time to go fishing. Um, the original plan was I was going to fish this lake today and then tomorrow, first thing in the morning, pack up a day hike to another lake. But I had kind of kicked my butt a little bit, so I'm just going to go day hike to the other lake today, fish it for a few hours, and then fish this lake tomorrow. So um, I've seen a bunch of pan size swim by, which is the generation I'm not looking for. I'm looking for the the five year old fish. So haven't seen any yet. and those people that were here fishing, they everything I saw them catch were just the, the smaller fish. So I'm gonna go check out this other lake that I where I've caught some very nice brook trout in the past. So anyways, I got a good mile and a half or two miles or so. So let's get going. Not quite halfway to my destination. It's a royal pain in the butt. Um, so thick, it's just bushwhacking. So I decided to come up higher and deal with the boulders versus the all the deadfall, so yeah, I'm tired. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what I came for. <laughs> Pretty decent brook trout right there. I was afraid it, it winter killed. It is super low. Well, hiking down to it, I could see no surface action at all until that one just cruised by, so it's gonna be very shaky. I don't have my chest thing on yet. I'm just starting off with like a little brown beetle kind of thingy. Alright, that guy could care completely less about the foam, uh, brown foam beetle. Let's see if it'll take a little balanced bruised leech. There we go. Yes! <laughs> Pretty solid for the you win is. Although I have caught some significantly bigger ones here years ago. 
Well, that's nice. Nice. Very happy about that. It's not the biggest one I've caught out of this lake, but for the winner, this is pretty nice nail brook trout. I'm happy about it. Definitely bigger than what I've seen in that other lake. So nice, pretty male. Not too shabby for the high Uinas. Well, let's let him go. All right, let's let this nice male go. So my buddy, caught on the grass. Ah, nice male brook trout. Happy about that. I'm lost the sun and it's windy, so I can't see. I have to fish blind. That's the only fish I've seen. It's just another nice one. Just, that was a solid whack. Had him on for like one second. That was it. Let me spit it. With that little uh, balance bruise leech tied in a size 14. And instead of a lead bullet weight, I tied it with a, just a tungsten B. I'm debating whether to put on a heavier leech or, or a heavier fly because it's taking a long time to sink, but I don't have a whole lot of time before I have to head back. That The day hike here um, was not awesome. It took uh, twice as long as I had anticipated. So, yeah, I don't know. Fish for maybe another 45 minutes and I got a bail. Took it on the sink. It feels like oh, dude, oh, it's a nice one. It is another nice one. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a nice one, chunky. Another, another fatty. Okay. Get down here without falling in the water. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. That's a solid. There we go. Whoa. Yeah, that's that is a stud for the UNS. Very nice. Solid brook trout. Ah, all right, how about that? For the UNS, that's pretty dang nice. Very nice. Let's let it go. Very nice. Right, let's let her go. Swim away. Thank you. Ah, why well, you don't go down there? You're crazy. Of it, I switched to a refurbished balanced minnow. It's usually it's been very successful for brook trout for me in lakes with bigger with bigger brook trout that I should say. So we'll throw the balanced minnow for a bit. Yeah, so the balanced minnow, yes. Yeah, that was a hard, hard take. Ah, if this lake wasn't such a royal pain in the butt to get to, I would camp here. I would have camped here. Although I have caught fish about this size out of the lake I'm camped at. It's been a long time though. Ah, uh, fun, fun. It's making this uh, day hike worth it. I gotta be honest, I almost turned around. I was like, screw this. It was in another burn, and it was just uh, it's almost a deadfall. There's another solid guy. That's really nice. Isn't it? It's nice, nice. Oh, guy. Yeah, and on the balance minnow. <laughs> that was a solid brook trout. Happy about that. 
And the first moment, close. Twisting everything up. I'm going to let you go, but no, it's going to be a disaster. Come on, D. And you got that pretty good. All right, buddy. Thank you so much. Fine, fine. I don't know if you can still see him or not. Try this again. Some more balanced minnow action. A smaller one, but he's come my way. Maybe he'll eat the brown beetle. Yep. Boom! Yeah! <laughs> Different generation. I'll take it. <laughs> now, this one's got the, the whole big head, skinny body thing going on. On the dry. Let you go. Still pretty nice. It actually is probably it is. It is the same generation. He's just like emaciated. Let's get the beat of that. Swim away. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, I think I've mentioned that I love brook trout before. Just had another solid whack on the minnow, but did not stick. Oh yeah, I'm just using my uh, 10 foot intermediate sink tip. I was gonna switch to the fast sink tip, but haven't needed to. It's pretty, it's pretty shallow when I'm fishing, so I don't need to. I don't need it to sink like a rock. Just had a take on the sink. Was not paying attention. And then we'll just cause a rock slide up there. A little, that's probably a goat. You barely see it. And I've done one last change up to a firecracker balanced leech. Just for the heck of it. Everything I've tried has worked somewhat, so yeah, I'll give it a whirl for a bit. And then I got a bail. Take on the sink. On the firecracker balanced leech. Another one from that generation. Nice solid brook trout. Yeah, that's some solid, it's not as, it doesn't seem quite as long, but it's healthy. Starting to wish I had trekked farther to this lake, except that I was already exhausted. By the time I got to the lake, I'm camped at. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I am pleased. My, my first time to this lake, I only caught three, but they were all good inch or two longer than this, and like mega fat. Like this, this is the lake where I've cracked the three pound mark before. It's been a long, I mean, that's forever ago, but for the U.S., those are, the, that is nice. Those are nice. Nice, solid brook trout. Let's let him go. Oh, no, 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 don't destroy my leech. I'll let you go if you don't destroy my leech. Thank you. It's one way, under the rock. Ah, fun pretty funny I uh I just caught one my battery went dead instantly 
so I just let it go. Put a new battery and my very next cast caught another one. I think this is a different generation. He used smaller. Still fun. So this will make seven, I think, that is caught here. Had me uh, quite a few other bumps. So uh, I think it's probably might just fish for another five minutes. I do not want to be bushwhacking in the dark. I cannot even begin to tell you how upset. No, it's not. It's the same, it's the same generation. But I can't tell you how disappointed I'd be if there were, if I had come here and it had winter kills because it really sucked to get in here. Come on, buddy. Let's let you go. You hold it still for just one second. Just chill for one second. We'll get that leech out of your mouth. Man, he really. Oh my god. Go away, buddy. Eat. Just another five minutes and I'm gonna bail. That's, I've never had so many takes just while it's sinking when they're like, you know, not a ton of fish but bigger fish. I mean, it happens, but like the vast majority of my takes have been just when it's sinking instead of versus stripping. It's pretty rare for me. Yeah, that was a terrible roll cast. A little better. My last cast for this. I'm gonna cruise around, look for, hopefully, I can find something right along the edge. I can toss that dry fly at. Yeah, I've seen no surface action cruising or walking around the shallows. That's the funnest. When they're in the shallows, sipping dries. Oh, geez. The only two fish I saw in the shallows I caught, but yeah, well, I gotta go pump some water and then head out. Well, that's all she wrote for this lake. That was fun. And pretty consistent action. And they were decent, so. Now I get to pump some water, drink it, pump some more, and get the heck out of here. Cause I'm not looking forward to that trek back because it kind of kicked my butt a little bit. It was a good, really thick section of just dead fall that just sucked. So I'm going to try to go around it. You never know when you try to go a different route sometimes it's worse but i'm gonna hope for the best i've made it back uh the man upstairs was looking out for me because i dropped way low a lot lower and it was so much better i saved like a half hour off the time getting back so note that if i ever go back yeah it's far easier if i, if I looped down i was actually a little longer but way faster so i'm back i'm hungry this time i did not forget my bacon wrap better cheddars so looking forward to that brought some gouda cheese i'm gonna wrap them in that too it's gonna be delicious all right it is food time so give me some coals i'm doing bacon wrap better cheddars with gouda it's gonna be fantastic i can't believe i should remember to pull them out of the cooler this time there we go bacon wrap better cheddars jalapeno better cheddars to be more specific oh yeah I am so hungry, it's going to be fantastic. Well, here we go. I already had a misfortune. I went to set it down and I tripped and the, one of them fell off into the fire. I'm not, I'm not letting that go to waste. Oh yeah, I salvaged it. Wiped it off. I'll just have to cook it extra long. <laughs> bacon wrap butter cheddars. Jalapeno bacon wrap butter cheddars. You gotta love the sound of sizzling bacon. And there you go. Bacon wrap, jalapeno better cheddars with Gouda cheese. Yep. Uh, several people on my channel have told me they started doing it. And they're awesome. So I would recommend it. They're fantastic. Well, There's not a lot of flame on the fire, so I don't know if you'll be able to see me. But a little recap of the day. Um, yeah, it's funny, like hikes when I was younger that I me like yeah those are kind of crappy now that i'm older they really suck uh, getting to that other lake oh my gosh it kicked my butt but on the way back it was far better um yeah the last two miles took me as long as the first like four five or whatever it was is uh i got a new gps and it i just assumed it had the trails I and mean, it's a garmin it has a topographical map it doesn't have the trails and the main trail is very marked, but the trail, like the side trail you take, is not very, is not well marked at all. 
And so I was basically just cross country for a long way, so. But uh, the one lake, geez, that was fun. I have caught bigger ones out of that, but I, I only, the time I did catch bigger ones, there were only, there was only three of them, so. I think I landed, I think I caught seven or eight, I can't remember. It was fun, a uh, couple on the drives, the rest on uh, leeches or minnows, so. It was a good day, I'm tired, I'm gonna sleep well. It was a long day, I put in a lot of miles, so. I mean, I'm just, it's just an overnighter, so. Tomorrow I'm gonna fish for about four or five hours at the lake I'm camped at, and then I'm gonna pack up and head out. And we'll see you in the morning, good night. Well, that is it for part one. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I had a good time making it. I had a lot of fun at that one lake, so. Uh, part two will be out shortly, so stick around, you know, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, in your heart, you know, you want to just do it. Until next time.